This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. When you have multiple worksheets in your workbook, you might need to link information from one sheet to another. All it really takes is an equal sign and a little bit of clicking. Let's go see how to do it. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet, and on one sheet tab, I have first quarter sales, and then second quarter sales, third quarter sales, and fourth quarter sales. And then what I want to do is I want to link the data here on this sheet that I called Link Data in Worksheets to um, the different sheet tabs. So my first quarter sales are over there on that other sheet tab and so on and so forth for all of the people and all of the information. I just want to go get that information. Well first of all, let's get the concept of linking down. So I'm just randomly going to click on a cell and show you how to create a link. It's really simple. You type the equal sign and then you go click on the cell you want to link to and you hit enter. And you see now if I type high in here, it's linked. If I hit undo and put that back, they're linked. So really the only thing you need to know is what do you want to link, where is it, and that you start with an equal sign. Let me go ahead and hit delete. I want to show you one more option here. Anytime when you do a right click, drag and drop, and you let go, you also have an option for linking as well that way. Let me hit escape on that. And anytime that you copy, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the cell and then click here. And in the pasting features, you also, here it is on the bottom row, you also have a choice for choosing paste links. So there are multiple ways that you can create links. Use the method that you prefer. So you can either use the drag and drop, you can, with a right click, remember, drag and drop with a right click, you can use a copy and paste, or you can use the method that we'll use today, where you actually type the equal sign to create the link. So let's go do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo. I don't want it, whoops, I guess I did have that out of there. I apologize, it's escape I needed to hit to take off those little marching ants. And let's select what we want. We want my's first quarter sales, so I'm just going to type the equal sign. And now I'm going to go over to the first quarter sheet tab. And what I want you to notice is in the formula bar, it's creating the calculation for us. And what it's doing is it's telling us a couple of important things. It says, well, first of all, you can't use spaces in math and you have a space in here. And so I'm going to have to put little single quotes. You see the little single quote right here is one. Oh, I can't get it to highlight. There we go. Right there is one. And right there is a second single quote. Those are there simply because it's telling the computer, it's OK, that space is OK, just ignore it. And then the exclamation point says it's the name of a sheet tab. So the syntax there that you really need to know is the single quotes say whatever is inside of those single quotes are acceptable. In this example, it's a space. And the exclamation point simply means that it's the name of a sheet tab. And now we're going to go get my's first quarter totals, which are $22. Oh, you know what happened there? I clicked twice. Let me hit escape because I was clicking and talking. So let me do this the correct way. I don't want to have a mistake in there. So let me do it without clicking into the formula bar this time. So you type the equal sign, right? And now we go to the first quarter. I'm not going to click in the formula bar. What happened is I clicked in there and it lost its connection. And so I did it twice on accident. So now we have first quarter and then we want my's totals. So on the first quarter sheet tab, there's the exclamation point, we want cell E3. And then when you're finished, the way you finish is you simply hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now let's go double check. Her first quarter sales were 22. The um, linked data is not formatted, but it's also 22. Let's go double check. Let's make this one say 8,000 instead of $8. And let's see what we get on the linked data. Yep, absolutely is accurate. Let me go ahead and hit undo because we don't want 8,000. All right, so back to our linked data and worksheet. Now check this out. All I have to do to get Sam, Juan, Nikita, and the totals is to autofill this down because the numbers go in the exact same order as the names. So now we'll do second quarter. You start with an equal sign. This time we want the second quarter sheet tab. And remember, syntax is the way you say things. And the exclamation point simply means that it's the name of a sheet tab. And we'll go get my's totals. And then we hit the Enter key. And again, we could autofill that one down. I'll just double click this time to autofill down. And then on the third quarter, 
We're going to do the equal sign, go to the third quarter, and we'll go get the totals, hit enter, Oops, double click, auto fill that down, and one last one, equal sign, fourth quarter, we'll go get mice totals, hit enter, and one last time, we'll double click to auto fill that down. So now all we have left to do is to give this a nice little format, and we have created a linked spreadsheet that has all of the information from our other sheets. So if someone goes into any of the other sheets and they change any of this information in any of the sheets one, two, three, and four for the different quarters, then the information here on the linked data and worksheet sheet will also be changed. So see how easy it is to create links? Three choices, either right click, drag and drop, use the copy and paste and choose the paste special linked feature, or you can click in any cell, start typing an equal sign, and then go click on the area that you would like to link. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.